Hello, my name is Alfred Nobel. I was born on October 21st, 1833 in Stockholm, Sweden. My time growing to a big boy was tough. <laughs> I had to deal with constant deaths of family members. <laughs> my time growing to a big boy was tough. <laughs> I had to deal with constant deaths of family members. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alfred Nobel. I was born on October 21st, 1833 in Stockholm, Sweden. My time growing to a big boy was tough. I had to deal with constant death of family members along with my years of work going to waste. When I was little, I had a big interest in being an engineer. My dad influenced me because he was also an engineer. My dad left Sweden because he went bankrupt and needed to start a mechanical workshop in Russia for the Crimean War. My dad left Russia and his weapon-making factories because the Crimean War ended and the Russians canceled the order for more weapons. Our company was flourishing at first, but it went bankrupt from after the war was over. After the war was over, our, my dad and his workers tried to make his factory into a steamboat-making factory, and I searched desperately for new products. I grew up and I kept growing until I was actually old enough to invent. I started with the simple things like black powder. I mean, <laughs> I was actually old enough to invent. I went to my chemistry teacher and she reminded me about nitroglycerin. In 1850, when I was 17 years old, I went to Paris to study chemistry in the laboratory of T. Jules Poulaus. Three years later, I left Paris to spend some time in USA and Germany. I started experimenting with some of the simple things like black powder, but later I took it to the top. I started to work with some of the most radioactive materials like nitroglycerin. Like nitroglycerin. During my time, that was the most explosive thing known to man. I used that to make dynamite, one of those famous invention. It was, uh, it was invented in 1867, and it was stronger than black powder because it was made from nitroglycerin and another substance called Kessler. Dynamite was not only used for pure demolition and destruction, but it was also used for miners to help with my gold and rare minerals. The Nobel Peace Prize was named after me because I made a big impact on the world by helping with physics, literature, chemistry, medicine, economics, and peace. The Nobel Peace Prize was handed out in 1901. Growing up also had some non-challenging times, like the time I had a lot of fun with my eight siblings, I mean my four siblings. I was the fourth child out of four siblings. Li Living in different countries and with the help from my dad, I learned how to speak English, German, Russian, French, and Swedish. I, I used my father's factory that was used to make weapons for the Crimean War. Later, I was busy making a blasting cap. It comes with a very high explosion full of nitroglycerin and black powder. Not only that, but I also invented the blasting oil and Belize type. Both are very high explosives. Do not think I'm very destructive. I've decided that when I'll die, I will invest a lot of money into a world peace program. Into a world peace program. Nitroglycerin is what blew my factory and killed my brother while I was preparing for a test. I have a lot of factories and I've made a lot of investments on my work. This is the story of my life. It is from all my memories. Like, thinking about it makes me feel like it is still fresh in my mind. I'm done.